Hello everyone and welcome to the Gryffindor Common Room. This is not the snippet that we got from the gameplay that was revealed in March. This is a full-on walkthrough. You can watch all of these in uh, on Hogwarts Legacy official YouTube channel as of today. And I'm just gonna do kind of like a quick impression. We're starting with Gryffindor because, you know, I'm Gryffindor. And let's say hello to the fat lady who stands at the entrance. I have to say, this is probably my favorite depiction of the common room. Uh, not what I imagined in my head, but for one thing, what I imagined was never even close to this cool looking. And I like it much better than the game, uh, than the movie as well. Uh, for one thing, it's much more spacious, which to me makes sense because there's so many students in the school and it was never that many in the movie for obvious reasons, too many extras, etc. So they made the sets kind of smaller as well. And I always thought they have to be much bigger with all the students. And here we see a lot of room. And now we move on to the Hufflepuff. Probably as far as like all the common rooms go, this is, this is my favorite. Even though I am a Gryffindor, this is every millennial hipster's dream with all the greenery and nooks and crannies to read and listen to music. And it's close to the kitchen, so the food is always right there. I mean, who wouldn't like this? I kind of wish I was a Hufflepuff. And, it's a, and it has a really cool entrance as well, kind of like a barrel in a sense. And all the kind of round pathways, doorways, gives me serious Hobbit, Lord of the Rings vibes as well, which I'm not mad about. I really like that trilogy, both of the trilogies. Well, yeah, well Hobbit is only a trilogy in the movies. I don't know why, made, why they made so many. Not the point. We're talking about Harry Potter here. And Hogwarts Legacy has done an excellent job with the attention to detail in every aspect of these rooms. This is truly truly gorgeous i really really love it um i guess they're doing this in case we choose a specific house obviously and then don't get to really explore all the other ones uh, this will definitely help make the decision early on if we like want to decide which house we want we at least know what the common rooms will look like ravenclaw maybe to my taste, a bit too snobby, a bit too cold-ish. I prefer something more welcoming and comfortable, kind of cozy. This is very Ivy League, we're so smart, we're so intelligent, we have everything super fancy. <laughs> I mean, who else has a glass dome ceiling as their common room? Uh, no one. <laughs> it's only the Ravenclaws. But Okay, it's fine. I mean, I'm not a Ravenclaw. I'm not gonna be chilling out here anyways. And I can still appreciate how beautiful it all is and all the star maps on the carpets and the ceilings as well. I mean, and yeah, it, it's, it, there's nothing wrong with it. I just, I just prefer something a bit more cozy. Hence, I'm also not gonna be a Slytherin. Still, this is much better than what I kind of dreaded. It's not super green, <laughs> you know? There have been some depictions that make everything look just horrible, horrible. Uh, not that green is a bad color, but you know, you can't go wrong with too much green there. Uh, I also really like the entrance. I'm not sure if... I, it was never shown in the movies, though. It was described in the book now, was it? In the second one. But yeah, still nice. Really, really nice to see. And I mean, I guess this all fits to the Slytherin mentality. It's definitely very grand and epic. I mean, look at that staircase. Like that that would normally be like the grand entrance. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> In like a castle or something. And this is just the common room. Although we've got some unfinished surfaces there as well. I mean, they are underground. 
So yeah, these are all the common rooms in Hogwarts Legacy. We've got a lot to look forward to. And if you missed the other big news, uh, this is something that we kind of already expected and now it's confirmed, it's official. We will be able to link our existing profiles to Hogwarts Legacy, so our house and our wands, we will be able to transfer into Hogwarts Legacy. So that's cool. I mean, we kind of expected that and it's gonna happen, so all good. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and I have more videos on Hogwarts Legacy coming very very soon. I will be actually comparing Hogwarts Legacy to some other Harry Potter games to test does it really... is it really the best game ever? And I also have a video on all the possible potions that we might see and use in the Hogwarts Legacy game, so be sure to check that out as well. For now, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!